Welcome back everybody. In today's video, we'll be taking a look at Craig as he got arrested for the illegal use of the police radio. Now, this isn't a new arrest, but I've never covered it on this channel. I wasn't even aware that there was an arrest footage. So we'll be taking a look at that. But before that, it looks like Craig has a couple announcements regarding his channel. The video quality was terrible. You could barely hear what he's saying, but don't worry, I fixed that so it's actually watchable. But before we get into that, make sure to subscribe to the channel and turn on all notifications. That way you never miss another video. We are 35,000 strong and growing every single day. With that out of the way, enjoy the video. Hello everyone. Today I am announcing the end of an era. As most of you know, me and my friend Tyler started this YouTube channel with the hopes of exposing police misconduct and showing the gross double standard that government in general is held to. I am sad today to say to you that the government response to this channel has been so vicious that I have sat in jail multiple times for my efforts and my coworker Tyler has done the same at least once. I am battling three criminal cases in two different states, and to be honest, it's overwhelming. As a result of these criminal charges, me and Tyler haven't had time to go auditing, and we have to be extra careful when we are out, as any new criminal charges could bog us down more than we already are. Ty has started his own channel, Ty Reviews, and I am also announcing that this channel will be changing names from CH and Ty Audits to Hendry, as I will be more focused on keeping everyone updated on how my criminal cases are proceeding, and we're still going to be focused on bringing you some of the same content that you're already used to. We will be focused on holding government accountable, so stay tuned, stay subscribed, and I will see you in the next video. So it looks like he's slowing down on the fraud it's because obviously he doesn't want to go back to jail, which is probably the smart thing to do. Now, he mentioned that he got locked up many times during his frauditing career, but he forgot to mention that one of the charges, the most serious, was for domestic battery, which he pled guilty to. Obviously, he doesn't want to tell that to his audience because that would kind of break the narrative of him being such a justice warrior. But we tell the truth here, and we know why he was locked up. Well, I think the seeing as they showed up at a deputy's house, I don't think they're trying to shoot anybody, so I think we'll be good. Yeah, and you don't know, because you don't know what's going on, right? Uh, you, you, uh, know everything. you know what's going on, why they showed up, what they're wanted for, and what they're doing, right? Okay. Yeah, I do. Uh, they shot or they threatened to shoot at an AT&T store, right? Isn't that... Am I right there? Or? Am I? Whoa. Bye. Okay, bye-bye. I'm going to tell you what they're wanted for. All right. All right, bye. scene right here yeah, this, is, so. this is a scene right here they're about 20 deep right now yeah they're they're on deep that's for sure oh yeah absolutely so we're, on. we're gonna turn our lights on so <coughs> I got that, we're I got just rolling by the way yeah thank you right, we're just gonna get out here and uh make sure that we see what's going on here right, i'm gonna make sure that i get rolling as well on this got a lot of cars out there yeah they do they definitely do all right man you ready yeah. and please lock that door if, gotcha. if they do anything to me i'm gonna make sure to get you Craig, to be honest, it looks like he's doing his job right now. He's dealing it with a clown that is interfering with a crime scene. Stop shining the fucking light in my face. What are you doing? Is your hand on your gun? Get Turn your around. hand away from Turn around. Head. Turn around. What are you doing? Turn You're around. in charge. I just told you. Stop. What are you Turn doing? Turn around now. 
What are you doing, sir? Turn around and cuff up now. Cuff up? Is that right? Don't take my phone. Hey, hey, hey what way. are you doing? Go to the back of the car. No, we're recording. What are you guys doing car. right now? What are you doing? Sir, I put hey. right here. What am I being detained for? Lean up. Parking in the middle of the road. No, Make sure you don't have any weapons on you. Okay. okay? We'll play your little games. Don't do anything silly. All right. I'm not. You got told not to come here. No, I, that's fine. I can get told not to do anything. Interference is physically stopping you from performing your duty. Hey, what would you want? What I want is to document. This is my First Amendment right to document no, what public servants sake. are doing. So what are you doing so why, violating why, my First Amendment right? Why are you right? parked here? I'm okay, but you pick your phone back up. He doesn't have a way. So you think you can park anywhere you want? What? You guys are right up there. See those red and blue lights? Yeah. See my hazard lights? Know, 26, yeah. 26, 26. That means there's you a vehicle parked on the side no, of the road. Give it. See that solid white you don't, line? You don't yeah. give it? No. What does that mean? What does that mean? That means, that means I'm not giving it to you. Okay. Why are you holding me like this? One at one. I'm David handcuffed. Tommy, I'm what are you one, doing? David. David. But what's your point? Why are you here? I'm here this to is, record you guys scene. because you do this kind of... What are you doing grabbing me? You got an idea with you? But no, relax. I don't have an ID on Quit showing You guys need to stop. You guys need to relax. Dude, get your hand out of my pocket. Stop. Keep recording, yeah. Tyler. We're I got recording. it. You Everybody guys are getting a lawsuit. Get your hand uh, off of my in neck, line. dude. Re get in line. You gotta call before relax. Dude, you need to relax. What the are you doing? I'm in handcuffs, I'm and you sure guys are. You. Uh, this is an illegal you know search. Illegal, you can't there he goes again with his YouTube lawyer degree, talking about the illegal search. Craig, when you are detained, they don't need your consent anymore. They can search you because you are literally detained. That's how it works. And if you just did a little bit of research, you would learn that for yourself. Roll around in a car with the scanner. No, that's you know a that? illegal search. The Fourth Amendment oh, yeah, says I have a right to be free from search and seizures unless you know there is a the warrant scanner? signed by is a yours, court. Do you guys have a warrant signed no. by a court? Do you guys have reasonable, <laughs> articulable Spin suspicion of a crime? I'm sure this is a shot in the dark. We tell me your name, dude. No. Okay. Did you know it's illegal to run around with a scanner in your car? You can't do that. No, it's not. Yes, it is. <laughs> it cannot be mobile. It can be in your house. It can't be in your car. Well, no, I did not know. Okay. Then. So now we're doing a criminal investigation on why you have a scanner in your vehicle. So now we need because some names, I, or we're gonna figure identify. Well, we'll take you to jail. So can you give me the IC code so that I know it's I a can law? Look it up. Uh, if you can give law. that up, if you can look that up but, for me, I will give you my name. Okay. Just so you know, you're staying in handcuffs. <laughs> Just so you know, this is an illegal detainment. No, we got a call this before is, you even no, pulled up here. I you heard not your call. Here. Don't worry about that. But back you up. You said you were irate. I'm, I'm, I was I'm asking you very nicely to back up. It all on recording. Please back up to the back of the car where hey, I ask you to dude, stand. Dude, stop talking to Please. me. You need to calm right, down. Thank I'm you. Calm down. Okay. Calm down. Okay. You can, calm you down. Can calm all down. You want. I ask you very nicely to back up. This is his and first I backed amendment up. right. Okay, back and up to the back of the car, please. This is the back of the car. If you back up like another foot, I would appreciate it. Yeah, you could be as difficult as you want, okay? You're going to assault him like you did with me here? No, I'm not. There is no assault. No, no, assault. No, no, assault. No, no, assault. No, no, assault. I don't want to do anything. I don't want to be in any of this. None of this is consensual. You want to sit on the ground? None of it. I don't want to do any of it. Why am I in handcuffs? What is the crime I've committed? Honestly, I can't believe that I've never seen this footage before. I'm sure some of you might have, but this is new to me. It is absolutely glorious. It shows just how ignorant these dumb frauditors are, and it shows instant karma. Perfect video. You want to talk about that? You just said you didn't know it was an IC pilot. Yeah, because I've not seen the IC code. I looked it up if that was a lie, and it said it wasn't. You can't park right here. Why are you parking right here? <laughs> That is because there's nowhere else to park, and it's my First Amendment right to document what you guys are doing, is it not? You think you Freedom find of the press. Somewhere to park? Where? On the highway? You can't park out on the there highway? Either. Oh, I know I can't park out so there. Why do you think you can park right here? So why do you think you can come up here and assault me and throw me in handcuffs? But I just told you there's no assault law in Indiana. If what do you mean? The law, know the law. Okay, then battery. This is there unwanted. You there you go. This is unwanted offensive physical contact. No, it's not. You is were told that, not to hey, come to the scene. Sir, sheriff, yes, sheriff. Sir. Hey, you remember me? I know you, don't I? This filming me the other night. Yes. Tell them this is my right to do this. What happened here was I showed up and filmed just like I did with you on public property. You know that this is that my right. Why are you not telling these thugs to get off of me? But we've also asked you for your name and date of birth, which by law you have to give us. If you have reasonable, articulable suspicion of a crime, and I'm not sure that that's a crime. You, you came into a scene. That is not illegal. That's not illegal. You're not with the media. Where's your media I am. credentials? Hey, Where get this. He asked for my media credentials. Hey, buddy. 
What government agency do I go to to get media credentials? I don't know. There is no. You know such it all. Thing. You tell me. There's no. Thing. I'm talking to him right now. Oh, no. These guys are a joke. There is no such thing as media credentials, sir. Show me you're with the press. Yeah. There's no total such waste thing. of time. I'll write it up on you a get up sticky on your note if you'd like. You me go too. right ahead. Make sure it's scratch and snip if you would too. So you, you know listen. You, listen you know why we came here. You heard the radio. Yeah, he's got right? the scanner in his car. You know why we came here. Yeah, I know why you came. So here. there was possibly a gun involved, and then we get a phone call. We don't know who you are. We get a phone call. There's another car, and she why would she, I call she, and say that I'm coming to a scene if she I'm going to do something? She doesn't live far from here. What are you thinking? I'm going to call them and say, "Hey, I'm coming to the scene." Crazier things have happened, man. Yeah, like what? You like officers getting paranoid. ambushed? Like how about citizens getting attacked by cops? But you guys don't look up that, right? You're not getting attacked. No, I'm you? getting attacked. I'm in handcuffs. This is not consensual. This is physical contact. I have not consented to, and it is offensive as. Hell, we can detain this is people. What, so Craig says that this physical contact is offensive. Well, you know what, Craig? Maybe don't commit crimes and don't go chasing and harassing cops, and then you won't have this unwanted physical contact. Why don't you leave? Well, you can okay, get me out of handcuffs, and I will. Because sure, you guys, as soon as we show you the IC code, okay, you'll be under as arrest. soon as you, as soon as you show me the hey, IC bud, code, I already, already asked you. Hey, bud, bud, when I told you to stop walking and you kept walking towards me, what do you think that means? What do you think that means? It means that you're telling you don't me you're listen. giving me unlawful orders. It means orders. you get up on your soapbox and try to do all stand this stuff. film, bud. Yeah. No, I can stand anywhere. Where is there's no He was patted law. down for weapons and got his phone back. I can stand anywhere on public property. What are you talking about? Do you know the law? You think you can stand in the middle of the road? This is public property. You think you can stand in the middle of the yes. road? Yes. This is a public easement. You guys have it blocked off right now. That truck can't get through. So where are you trying to get to? I'm trying to watch you guys do this so that you guys don't so do So you're not trying bad. to get through? Why would I be trying you're to You're trying to park through? here. I'm trying to In the roadway. You. I'm trying to watch you. When I tell you to stop walking towards me and you keep walking towards me. That is an unlawful me. order. Hey, is there any law about uh, if a cop tells you to stop walking? Sheriff, and I think you're pretty good, so. Hey, listen, this hey. is their investigation. I'm just here to back them up. Exactly. Why are you not here to back me up? I'm a citizen. You're supposed to defend my rights, sir. Right I don't know what and I called you. I called your freaking department and gave you a good review the well, other day. Thank you. Yeah, uh, I I'm said I'm I, going to revoke it. This is ridiculous. I, they're telling you everything. They're saying they got me in handcuffs because I stopped walking or I started walking. Well, they just told me right in front of me. Another issue, you guys are parked on that guy's property and you cannot do that. Uh, this, that isn't public property? No, that's not public. That's a you know, individual owns that. Telephone pole is there? Individual owns that. Okay. So you're trespassed from all that. I'm trespassed from there? Yes. They, they, they wanted to trespass me? Okay. Yes. Okay. Um, the IC code 3544.127. The misdemeanor. Okay. All right. Class C? B. Class B. Okay. Yep, pretty low. Medium. All right. Yep. Well, so I did then, not know that. Now you do. Name? Okay. Name? Yep. Craig Hendry. Uh, H E N D R Y. Uh, Two four ninety nine. So I didn't get up here first. <coughs> Who's driving? I have no idea. They're not. Who's driving? driving? You driving? I was driving. Okay. So like I said, since we're doing a criminal investigation on why there's a scanner in your car, That's you want to give me your name? Car. I know, but he's a passenger in it. He doesn't so, need to identify he's a passenger. Okay, I'm talking to him right now. Is he a big boy? Can he talk for himself? He just knows. Is he a big boy? Can he talk for himself? He does? Yeah. Um, well, you would didn't. you like to give me your ID or no? I didn't know no. that. So okay. He knows about the lost? scanner part then? No. He's just trying to be nice to him and explain it to him. Okay. Yeah, Ty is a big boy, but unfortunately he doesn't talk for himself that much. Craig usually does all the talking. Anyways, I really hope for his sake that he's separating from this degenerate criminal. It looks like that's what's actually happening. They changed the name of the channel. So good for Ty. At least he won't criminalize himself any further. Cool. He doesn't need to identify at all. We didn't ask him for his ID. Okay. I just wanted to make sure that he knew. He's a lawyer? Are you a lawyer or no? Alright, and then you tell me to calm down and you're coming over here yelling. Do you not see the thing? He that's told a you to weird? stop. Why do I need to stop if you tell me to stop? And he had his hand on his gun. Can we explain it to you? Yeah, I would like you to explain it to him. But if you want to hear all this, you can come up here. Appreciate it. Right, exactly. Because you're aggressive. 
Where from? Oh, that's, it's got a 27 on the driver's side. Somebody pulled out. We have a small suspicion that you fired them in person, so we took the car. They got a call. They got a call, and I told them I'm not coming out here to watch them. If you can't. So, okay, you need to get they know. If, if we would have got a call saying, hey, they want to come film, or saying they want to film for media reasons, that's a different story. Maybe our, all we got told was somebody was driving the scene following us when they were irate. That's all we got. I don't need to tell you guys around here. Where is that a law? But I'm saying our call we got said that somebody was coming here and they were irate. They were pissed off. No, that's that's what we got told. That's what we got That's fine. So when he told you to stop walking, we're investigating it because we don't know who you are, and they said that you were going to be aggressive. That's why we. Irritation is not a crime. Right, but what okay, we're told, dealing with, if you're related to that and you bring what is it, said to happen is there here. Is any evidence saying that I was related to that? No, but we don't know that. There's no evidence. You guys are paranoid. I hate to tell you that. I mean. Right. Uh, <laughs> but, listen, they, that's why you're saying Because we had reasonable suspicion. Right, but the whole thing, the whole, the whole premise of this was illegal. Sure, I, I don't think so. Yeah, coming over and putting me in handcuffs for no reason, and then finding the reason after the fact. He's, he's and we got it all on camera. Oh, valid. Sure. Valid. Right. I'm gonna let them conclude their investigation. He's okay. good. He's saying why he's good. I don't know. I mean, what, tro trooper, what I know I'll, I'll leave it up to you. Discretion doesn't matter. Um, so that is a misdemeanor. Yep. So it's in Indiana. It's a jailable offense, or it's a citable offense. Yeah. Or we can use it as a learning experience. Say, hey, don't do that again. Right. So, what would you prefer? Actually, hold on. I'm going to leave it up to Trooper Woodruff. Okay. This is right. I'm here for support. So, Trooper, I'll leave it up to Trooper Woodruff. You guys want to have a private chat? You can have a private chat. All right. I don't you, think he's going to learn his lesson. There's my two cents. Right. What's your first name? I'd take it. Right. Jail. Right. Right. That's right. just me. First name for All right. For Last name is Woodruff. P number what is it? Woodruff. Woodruff. W O D R U F F. Our badge number is 9256. Okay. It was only P number, right? For us. Right. I got a call on the radio. Saying that someone called our postman. Okay. Saying that someone called us to the scene and they were very irate. They didn't tell us you just wanted to film what was going on, or that you wanted to watch us to make sure we were acting right. Okay. Someone's being irate. Someone's following us to the scene, being irate. I look back, I see your car. I tell you to stop walking. The reason why I told you to stop walking, all right? Okay. You understand that? I do understand. Yes. And you keep walking towards me. I see you don't have a gun. That's why I put my gun away. Um. Okay. I didn't even see you had your gun out. I have my gun out because okay. I don't know you. All right. Right. I didn't point my gun at you. I pointed my gun at the ground. All right. Okay. Because I, again, I, I couldn't see anything. I don't see you. All I see is what you're holding up right now, your cell phone. Right? Okay. Right. I can tell it wasn't a gun. So my gun goes away. When I tell you to stop, you don't stop. That's when you go in hand. All right. Because I don't know you. You don't know me. I don't know you. Right. Exactly. All right. Yes. Now we do know each other. Do you understand the information that I have? I I get how yes. little information I have for what's going on here. I see. So the officer is trying to reason with him and trying to explain to him the tense situation. But with Craig, it's completely pointless. The best thing you can do is just book him. He's definitely not going to learn his lesson. Your perspective here. I okay. Yeah. Use, All right. Use, use well, I'm not trying to give you shit. Yeah, like, I'm, not trying trying to to I'm not trying to, and again, I'm not trying to offend you guys either. People I just, when I get put in handcuffs, it makes, you know what, you know, you know what I'm saying? People feel us okay, all the time. But the reason why I put in handcuffs because I don't know you. Okay. I don't know what your intentions are. I don't know that you just said yeah. something. Okay. We have body just cameras. Use this like we all have body cameras and car cameras. The thing is, is what's the sheriff's gone? I mean, I went to the sheriff's department to try to get camera footage. And they, and I mean, look, they didn't bring any handcuffs the other day. But they, you wanted they, the footage of your um, interaction with him? So uh, not with him, no. It was just with him. Not, some other I people that illegally searched my vehicle. Come, and and doing, they just grabbed me, threw so, me out of the building. Call, and then I had to go make a report with the police and department and in Terre Haute just to get anything to, done. To, and um, it's like, so, you know, I don't always, like, have luck getting body cams. That's why I bring my camera. I can probably guarantee you today, if you would have stopped in the car, and you guys would have a conversation, you would have never been put the issue. Uh, Never. If you would have said, right. hey, I just want to film, uh, you would have like, okay, that's fine. Okay. okay. I have my gun out because do I don't do know what you have. I can't see from that far. All I see is you holding a little black stone. Right? Okay, so and next time you guys would like uh, me to stay put until property. you can come over and assess the situation. Absolutely. 100%. And okay. then if you want to film, you're more than welcome to film all you want. All right. Awesome. That sounds great. So if we can avoid the handcuffs next time, I appreciate that. I guess you guys want to avoid me approaching you before you know what's going on. I have zero idea. We'll avoid that next time. Okay. 
And that's on camera. My YouTube viewers are gonna see me say that. So against my own pride, which I don't like listening. You know how many times I have to swallow my own pride? I don't mean that. I can tell that. And now is it just personal thing? Hey, we're here. I'm not a sovereign citizen. As a matter of fact, I have a big issue with sovereign citizens. So document stuff. Yeah, yeah. I have run-ins with them all the time. I just document stuff. I, I've had fifty thousand dollars stolen from me through brokerage accounts where they had zero evidence uh, to steal it, and they just stole it. So you know, I've had bad experiences. Fifty thousand. I, I know I mean, you guys are police officers. You guys could probably relate to that's a lot, that's of, a lot money. of money, and they just kind of stu took it. So I like to make sure that we keep you guys accountable, just because like, you know. I have had bad experiences before. And I know you well, don't. By the way you act, that's why you have bad experiences. Right, and, and sir, with all due respect, you were screaming at me to calm down, but you were screaming. So that gives right. me the idea that you're not calm yourself. And I don't mean any I'm offense by that. Okay, well, I'm glad I just to go that. above you one level. Can, can we hurry this up with your no, things? No, okay, yeah. We I'm, got, I'm we got people talk. waiting here. Some older ladies want to I'm go to church, and you're blocking the road. <laughs> church. Like said, I'm Wednesday well, church, I, get, I, I guess it is. It's 7 o'clock. I'm going to for that, all right? But I'm not seeing each other, right? They'll be a site release. Give you a court date, you show up there, and you can talk to them about it, about any question you have. Okay. okay. Can my buddy just keep All filming right. then, and can we? Yeah, I'm gonna take out. I'm gonna take out a handgun. Thank you. This battery's okay. charged. All right. Then, can you just face that way? Can <laughs> I get my phone so that I can film on my phone as well? Your phone is right there. It's right there on the. Okay, I see phone. it. Yeah, it's yeah. camouflaged by the by the black, and I don't want to. Can you back up a little bit so this? Yeah, can yeah. And get these I don't want to get these ladies to church. Ways. Just yeah, that that wasn't uh, there before, so I thought they had room. You know what I mean? All right, sir. Okay, and yeah. See you, buddy. And by the way, guys, I just wanted to say that in a crime scene, the only way that I'm not allowed to approach, and I understand that you know I've consented to not approaching unless I get consent. The only way I'm not legally allowed to approach is if there's yellow crime scene tape up, all right? Well, Let me I'm, just get my keys out. What's that now, man? It's got to be yellow Todd. crime scene tape. Todd! I'm going to back my on. vehicle up. That guy asked me to so that this lady can... Yeah. Hang on a second. He's trying to get by Okay. Right now, right? I guess I'll just... So, so you're saying I, I can't just I can't hold a perimeter myself and say, hey, we can't pass through here for right now because there's a crime scene going how long, on. How long do you think we've been on the scene, man? So there you have it. He was arrested, he was cited, and then he was released. That is one more charge to add to the pile of criminal charges that Craig Hendry is fighting. Anyways, that's it for the video. I'm glad that Craig posted this video. I have never seen it before, and it was absolutely glorious. I'm sure you enjoyed it as well. So thanks so much for watching, everybody. Please like and subscribe if you enjoy the videos, and I'll see you guys on the next one. If you enjoy this video, I'm sure you will also enjoy my other channel, Josh Prime. On that channel, I cover drunk drivers, idiots, Karens, all sorts of criminals. So I'll see you there. The link is in the description. I live here!